What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a very, very easy and simple strobe flash transition. Also guys, be sure to check out my Selfie -Fi store in the description of this video. I currently have two packs available for purchase. Click this one here, which is going to include 24K drag and drop transitions for Final Cut Pro 10, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and more. This is also M1 compatible and no plugins or any special type of installation is required. So I'm gonna press Command B. And you're gonna go about seven frames to the left, depending how long your video is. And I'm going to press Command B to split that clip. From here, I'm gonna do the same thing over on the right clip. So I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna go over it seven frames. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Press Command B to split that clip. So now you have these two clips that we're gonna be working on. So we're gonna go over to the Color Inspector tab. It's gonna say no corrections. Click on that and go to add color board. And I'm going to add a keyframe at the very beginning. And I'm gonna go about to the end and one frame to the left. We're gonna go over to the highlights and we're gonna bring that up quite a bit, not all the way. And then the same thing for the midtones. We're gonna go about here. And then we're gonna go over to the saturation and we're gonna move the saturation up as well. And we can do the same thing for the midtones as well. So once we're here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the effects under looks. You're gonna go over to X-ray and add that onto your clip. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag the X-ray and you're gonna drag that right above the color board one. So at the end of that first clip, we're gonna go one, two, three, three frames to the left. We're gonna move the amount to zero, add a keyframe, and then move the playhead at the very end and move it to 100. So once we're there, we're gonna select the second clip here. We're gonna go under no corrections. We're gonna add a color board preset here. And then we're gonna go over to the exposure. We're gonna uh, add a keyframe. We're gonna add this to roughly the same as we had it before. Saturation, we're gonna increase the highlights. And we're gonna do the same thing for the midtones. And then once it's around here, go all the way to the end actually, just go one frame to the left. And you're gonna double click on these so that it resets it and it places it back to the original position. So just double click on the slider here on that circle shape by push play. It'll look like this. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing. So we're gonna add another X-ray effect. So go into the effects, looks, and X-ray, and then just drag that into the second clip. We're gonna go over back to the video inspector tab. Again, here we're gonna drag the X-ray right above the color board. This, we want it to be at 100%. So we're just gonna add a keyframe after three frames. So go one, two, three. We're gonna drag this to zero. And that's pretty much it. So now if I go back and I push play, it's gonna only look just like that. 